the wrist is uh, moving ahead a little bit. So they are all, the protesters and the police are only a few meters apart. We don't know yet what will happen next, but judging from the stern warnings from the police, it looks like they're going to enforce the uh, illegal measures they have, been, they have threatened to. Now I'm also worried about those journalists. They are too close to the front line. Usually for safety, you know to stay on the side. And now the police try to move closer and closer and not like protesters are going to retract or move anywhere. Okay. So it's, uh, the situation is pretty tense. And behind the police lines, you can see a high pressure water jet truck waiting. And in fact, this truck has been put on standby for hours now. And recently, the journalists have already been told to leave the area due to safety concerns as well. Now, we are talking about this intersection uh, right in the middle of Bangkok at Watumban area, which is uh, one of the busiest spot, spot, commercial spots in, in the city. We stay with you with the picture so that you can uh, see what is going to happen. This is, this is just a current second to second straight from uh, between one intersection. So what you see now is what's really happening there. So you're watching the special edition of Thai BBS World. Uh, we are covering the latest on the confrontation between the authorities and protesters. Protesters, Hopefully there's yeah, nothing violent happen, okay. but uh, it looks pretty worrisome. Right, yeah. We can see that the policemen are ready in case there is going to be any sort of violence going on here mm -hmm. because we've mm -hmm. never seen policemen in riot gear before. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. When we look at the previous protests that we've seen recently, we've never seen anything like this. Okay. And, this and morning, now the yeah. protesters have guarded themselves up with umbrellas right now. They are expecting high uh, water pressure to gonna happen anytime soon. Among the protesters are many young students, we can see, and, and we, of course, judging from the look, there are certainly high school students uh, who have been taking part in a series of anti-government demonstrations. And this is but to one intersection yes. and as you can see that there are tons of protesters joining the protest tonight. And as soon as they announce the move, they announce only like 10-15 minutes before 5 p.m. that they're going to move to the one intersection. And as soon as they announce, the big department stores around the area already announced that they're going to close at 5 p.m. just to make sure that everybody uh, can stay safe. And uh, like we see, there's a lot of uh, protesters come out and join the demonstration tonight. The protesters' uh, original plan was to rally at the Rajapasong intersection, which is about uh, one kilometer away. But the area happened to be blocked by a heavy security uh, presence. So at the last minute, they decided to move the rally to Batuman intersection. So it looks like the protesters are bracing themselves for what they believe will be I mean, the worst case scenario that, that, that may be uh, possibly, possibly evicted by the police. I uh, read the uh, opinion pieces by the Bloomberg earlier today. What interesting is that they point out this is the political protest that not for themselves, not like for political gain, okay. but it's the first one that actually they request or demand something for change for the future. Um, change in society, change in institutions. So they said it's going to be a difficult one for General Prayutan Ocha to actually find a way out with this group of protesters. And recently, Prime Minister Prayutan Ocha has already rejected the the speculation that they might be imposing curfew. He actually said that it might be one of the measures that might be imposed if the situation is getting out of control. But but that was a few hours ago. So, yes. So you, we keep, now that the situation has turned into a standoff between mm. the policemen and the protesters, 
maybe the government might be reconsidering a curfew as well as heightening their their security measures as well. Of course, we have seen many demonstrations of this kind in Bangkok, but the scene we're seeing is quite unfamiliar with protesters using umbrellas to protect themselves against what they fear will be attacked by the anti-Arab police using umbrellas. That's something that, uh, that we are not familiar with. So the pictures you're seeing right here on the left side on your screen is the Patum Wan intersection and on the right side is in front of Sime Center's shopping mall. And now there you go, the water cannon. Water, water has been sprayed right now. Wondering what that guy is doing <laughs> in the middle of the screen. Yeah. Really? No, we're still not certain whether this is the beginning of an of an uh, possible eviction of the protesters or not. But certainly, judging from the ways that the anti riot police are preparing themselves and with the water cannons uh, starting to spray water. We can guess that uh, this could be the start of a, an attempt right. to remove the protesters. We can see the, the situation is getting very intense here. You know the demand, one of the demand is the vaccination of the Prime Minister. And earlier today, he was asked by the reporters at the, the government house. And he said, no, he's not going to resign. And he said he hasn't done anything wrong, why he would resign. So. There you go, it's pretty clear that the demands, at least one of them, will not be met. I think we're seeing another high-pressure water jet yeah. truck coming in. So I believe it's there to disperse the crowds. As no long water. as it's just water, it might not be too... But this is high-pressure. High-pressure, high yes. but. Um, I think that they might expect there might be something more. Um, hopefully, not violence, but we stay with the pictures for the time being. Yes, right now it's water, high pressure water. So the high pressure water jet trucks has been used as it's believed to use to be used for to disperse the crowds. And what you're seeing right now, these are live pictures from the Batum One area this and one this is, is from Siam Square. This is Siam Center. Yes. Of course this is an area that the most people in Bangkok are familiar with. It's the commercial center of the city. It's a hangout place for young people yeah. in the past decades. Oh no, many, many decades. Yeah. And now it has been turned into a scene of confrontation between the anti government protesters and the anti riot police. I think this is the first that there will be any commotion at uh, the area. Usually we'll see something like this at Ratchapasong intersection or Democracy Monument or Ratchadamnan right. Avenue, but uh, this is the first time that they picked this intersection. And the Siam Square and Siam Center has always been known as a shopping center that attracts the younger generation, teens and all these people, but this is definitely the first time that we're seeing a, a large group of contesters coming in to, to demand their key demands here at Siam. Before today, the officials we saw was from Crown Control Police. Right. This is the first of this event that they actually have uh, the help from the Border Control Police. One of the demands made by the protester during the, today's rally was for a release of all the 23 or so protest leaders who have been taken into police custody. So they're spraying water again? And, 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 and with the policemen move. moving forward? We can see that they're getting really close to each other right now. This is only several meters away and there's the protesters trying to throw things into the officials. We can see that the protests and the standoff between the police and the demonstrators are getting very intense here. And you can see that the line behind the front line of protest protesters is actually thinner right now. There were much more people just like a couple minutes ago. And it's 
the water with color, is it? Yes, yes it is with color. It blue. is with color. Okay, it's the entire rapidism moving okay, closer to the front line then, of the protest. Okay, the confrontations here. It's very, very close. It's like less than a meter, and now the protesters try to push back. Seriously, pushing back. And usually the front line, the protester will be the guards. I think the police uh, look like they are able to back through the front line of the protester now. All the protesters are moving to the other side right now because the policemen are pushing forward and it has has broke yeah. the, the barricade. There is so, another barricade by the protesters. Yeah. So this is exactly the scene that we certainly have, had been playing that would not happen. But sadly enough, it uh, is happening right in front of our eyes now. You are watching live broadcast straight from the Siam Square area where the protesters moved from Ratchaprasong intersection to gather here. It's near the Patum Wan intersection. So this is where the police decide to try to disperse or crack down on the protesters and they have been using high pressure water cannon uh, to deal with the protesters. And uh, we can see that the police officers moving closer and closer and closer. The protester is trying to put back, but um, it's very difficult. It's a very tense situation right now. And we can see that the, uh, the protesters are trying to fight with the police as well. Hello. So it looks like uh, the police uh, are able to break up the rally now. With the use of the, with the help of the water cannons. And the protester is trying to throw something back at the officers, but uh, they have, they have the, um, they have the shield, mm. they have their gears, mm. so they are pretty prepared, mm. well prepared to fight with the protesters. As we can see that. Uh, most of the protesters have dispersed, but there are still pockets of uh, protesters who are fighting back. And this is definitely a scene that we didn't even expect it to happen for today's protest, because if we look at yesterday and the previous protest, they remain peaceful. But this is definitely the first time in years that we've seen a violent standoff between the policemen and the demonstrators. And you can see right now that the demonstrators have tried to fight back against the police officers. I would say the density between two signs are different now. At first, it doesn't look that much different, but right now on the police side, it's still, the line is still thick. But on the protester side, it's quite scattered. And for those of you who have just tuned in, this is uh, the live scene uh, from the Patumbant uh, intersection where police, anti-police uh, personnel are trying to break up a valley. This is under the, I, I believe, Siam Square BTS station. They're talking about uh, the, the heart, the commercial heart of Bangkok. You can see now that the protester is trying to push back and the police officer is uh, retract a little bit. We're not quite sure what is happening now. It looks like the police personnel are stepping back while the protester continue to, to push forward.
you think the officials will try to make it end tonight? It seems like the situation has escalated a lot compared to... Yeah. Of course, there have been immediate reactions on the social media from many people, including many politicians. Thanathorn j u n g l u n g k i t the former leader of the Future Forward Party, in his tweet, he just said that uh, violence against the protesters must be stopped immediately. And the previous protests in the past couple of months. Did not lead to any loss of life, okay. and the violence does not help solve the issue. And this is the recent okay. reaction from t a n a t o n Jung r u n g n g k i t the former leader of Future Four Party. So it looks like a messy scene now with the police office personnel retreating and the protester pushing back. We can notice that uh, even though the police personnel are armed with batons, uh, we still have yet to see them use the batons against the protester. This is the first time that we see officers putting on full gear. And earlier, um, since yesterday and today, we saw the uh, prisoner transport truck as well. Look pretty peaceful over here. A bit different from the scene we saw just earlier, not that far away. So I believe this one is the b a t o m w a n intersection, as opposed to the previous pictures we've been showing you is at Sun Square. It's like hundreds of meters away, and the other side was just pretty tense. So this is another side of the of the of the scene. So, but. Actually, on the other on the other side, I mean, the battering uh, still going on. Okay, so, so this is where the the action is. You can see the Paragon sign. It's the name of the department store uh, across from s i a m Square. And right now, the street look pretty empty. I think the area has been cleared off, and yeah. then they have been replacing the barricades. And that was just minutes ago. We saw the commotion between police officer and uh, protesters. Obviously, these are some of the police personnel who might have been injured in the melee. Of course, we, we hope that there will not be any serious casualties. But of course, injuries have certainly been reported. We don't, we haven't seen yet the pictures of the casualties on the side of the protesters. But this is what we are seeing now: some of the police personnel being treated for injuries, which we hope are not too serious. So these uh, people are members of a special border patrol uh, unit employed to deal with the crowd. And now we're back to Siam area, where you can see that. The roads have been cleared off already. People have been trying to replace their barricades to ward off the area. But there is still another group of protesters on the another side at the p a t u m w a n intersection. So we're not sure yet what is going to happen there. Yes. But on this side, things are kind of look pretty calm now. Can we say that? Yes. Can we? Yeah, we can use the word. Of course, calm. So we have to confess that we cannot provide you with all the angles of the scene. So. We still don't know yet what kind of casualties that uh, the protesters have suffered. But from the size of the law enforcement, you can see pictures of some of the injured uh, personnel. But of course, we will try our best to give you a balanced picture of what's going on, accounts and scenes from both sides of the of the of the battle line, if you can call that. And you can see that there are tons of journalists coming to cover the event, uh, cover the demonstrations right here. And there are 
And we can say that the recent protests have been widely reported in international media. And today is definitely one of the most intense moments, which will definitely be covered. If you just join us, this is the live feed, live broadcast from the uh, one of the protest sites mm. at the Siam Square, just between Siam Square and uh, Paragon Department Store. Just only minutes earlier, there were a confrontation between the Border Patrol Police that wearing the crowd control gear between that and the protesters. And the police were pushing back and pushing back and finally now you can see the situation is look kind of calm, the street look empty and uh, we believe there's some injured at least on the officer side. We haven't uh, seen any of the report from the protester side yet. Now, touching from what, what we see, it looks like the police uh, have been able to evict the protester from the street. And of course the valley certainly has uh, been forced to, to, to end. And as you can see, but there's still protesters remaining. And so we got the report that because the police officer is trying to disperse the crowd, so they have asked the media to get off the area. That's why it's a bit difficult for us to try to give okay. you the clear picture of the whole thing. So this is uh, the sort of uh, aftermath of the, con of the confrontation. And as we have been saying that we still haven't received any figures or any reports about injuries or casualties on, this, on the side of the protesters. And let's hope that there are no serious casualties, no serious injuries. that uh, many of the protesters are still refusing to give up and continue to hold on. And you still can see some high school students uh, mingling with among the protesters. They're still chanting something and take a, a video clip at the same time and throwing objects yeah. onto the, the uh, officer side. The protester began rallying at the Batumban intersection since this evening, despite the continuing result. The blue water that uh, seemed like it's not just water, there's some of the protesters complained that they feel a bit burned on their skin, yeah. not so much, mm. but not like just got water. So yeah. I think later on we will know, but right now it's just a speculation. Yeah. Seems like the protesters is coming back. They are coming back a little bit by a little bit. And the protesters are flashing their three finger salute once again. As you have seen earlier, that uh, the police use uh, water cannon to try to disperse the clouds, and uh, the, 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 the was, uh, it looks like the water was mixed with some blue chemical. Yes. And uh, something that we have seen earlier in protests in some other countries, basically the, the chemical was used uh, as something to identify protesters if uh, the authorities come across them afterwards. I think right now the protesters was trying to throw the umbrella into the front line. And they're still chanting. The thing is with the officers, it doesn't matter what they personally want to do, they just have to do as they ordered by their chief. 
So we waiting to see whether there will be another attempt try to disperse the crowd. Right now, it looks like a recess for them. It looks like the protesters, some of them anyway, are regrouping yes. and refusing to, to leave the area. And we can see that the police officers are still there, the water cannons are still there in case there is another round of violence. And if you just joined us, this is the special edition of Thai PBS World tonight. We are covering the protest in Bangkok, which has been going on since 14th of October. And this time round, they moved from Rapasong to Patum Wan intersection. So our reporters on the scene have just uh, reported that many of the protesters are regrouping behind the police line and, and, and are certainly attempting to, to regroup and, and make a comeback. So we might see a second round of the confrontation. And the police are, are, in, are lining up once again. Yeah. And this is definitely a scene that we don't see so often, whether it's okay. any type of protest. Right. So we see the high pressure water jet trucks in action again with the protesters regrouping and trying to push forward. And the officer is making an advance again, yeah. a little bit by a little bit. It's a, this is a repetition of what we just saw uh, a few, few minutes earlier. This will be a little more difficult than earlier offense, I guess. Oh, not that difficult anymore. They already <laughs> able to walk through that a little barricade with umbrella and uh, metal fence. And it seems like the police are moving ahead. This is still uh, the area between the Siam Square and the Paragon department store under the BTS station. And we can see that police officer is moving forward, advance their front line a little bit by a little bit. So I guess they're getting prepared in, in case there's another standoff? Because the protesters are regrouping. So we let you stay with the, the picture to see what is uh, going on. Now you can see actually there is a media line between the protesters and the officers. So we see the we got the report that the police is getting more is getting reinforcement. More officers are being deployed to reinforce the current front line. We also got the report that uh, beside what's going on under the PDS station at Siam Square, under the BTS station, Ratchatewi, there is also a police vehicle heading to Patum Wan intersection. So that caused some of the protesters uh, to be frustrated and angry and they're trying to see what's happening now. It seems like there is another standoff going on right now between the policemen and the protesters under the BTS Siam station. Literally face to face. So right now, the police has made an announcement, asked the people, the crowd, to move out. 
because they are going to charge the situation. And previously, the police has already warned the protesters not to make any demonstrations at this area because they will be charged under the state of emergency. And one of them is that the assembly of more than five people is actually one of the things that are prohibited under this state of emergency. It was reported that there was a woman actually get in front of the protester line and ask the police to stop. So they stopped for a little bit. But now, like you can see, they're making another advance. And the protesters are flashing their three finger salute against the police right now. Now and another water cannon. It is high pressure, so you can just fall down if you get sprayed by that water cannon. are backing off right now. So you're watching the special edition of Thai PBS World to be uh, keeping you update on the latest situation at the Batumban intersection on Sam Square, one so of the busiest uh, commercial spots in the heart of Bangkok, which has been the scene of confrontation between anti-government protesters and the anti-riot police for the past 45 minutes. Uh, one of the Thai PBS correspondent has reported that the protester is trying to build another barricade with metal fences and some concrete block. But the officer is still making an advance. Look pretty empty, but if the protester regroup again, the officer will just come back and push them back again. And what we see is not just the officers that moving closer, this water truck also moving closer a little bit by a little bit too. Now there are three of them. And it looks like the protesters are putting up barricades again against the water cannons. It's an attempt to at least try to slow down the officer side. It's uh, extremely difficult uh, at this very moment to really say what is exactly going on. We have our reporters uh, on many spots in this area, but we are not able to cover every angle of the scenes. But we try our best to give you as comprehensive as possible the, the picture of what is happening. There are a report that there is a use of tear gas. It's not confirmed, but one of the protesters said that they are trying to get away from the tear gas. But we haven't seen any tear gas here. No, we have to be careful because uh, the, we haven't seen or have received no reports of the use, any use of tear gas. But there have been claims by the, some of the protesters that uh, uh, that that was the case. But of course, we are not confirming or we are not saying that uh, that is the case. It looks like uh, many protesters are still uh, putting up resistance, even though the main street has been cleared to some extent. But we still see uh, protesters on two sides of the street. They're not in the middle anymore, but we still see them standing around. 
and one guy in the front. And With the media. Our reporters at the scene said the police are moving forward and are approaching the spot in front of the Scala movie theater. So Thai PBS reporting that Thai PBS correspondent reporting that the protester is right now asking to get more umbrellas to use with the officers. Now we have one uh, sole protester sitting right in front of the the water, the high pressure water jet trucks of the police. We don't know who this person is, but it's quite a, a brave action by this lone pro protester on the street. And there have been unconfirmed reports that there are no casualties at the moment, but if there are any developments or any confirmations, we will keep you updated as soon as possible. So if you just join us right now, it's a live broadcast directly from the pro one of the protest sites uh, under the PDS uh, Siam station. So it's between the Paragon department store and Siam Square. And earlier, just not that long ago, there were uh, confrontations between the officers and the protesters. And the officers able to move forward, be able to move advance a little bit by a little bit, and break the barricades twice already. There seems to be a stalemate between the protester and the police. What you're seeing now is a lone protester sitting in, right in the middle of a street, maybe trying to block the way to prevent the, the water truck from moving ahead. The police, again, uh, are, are repeating warning that uh, the protesters are violating the state of emergency, which bans a gathering of five people or more in public. So it looks like there's a standoff between the two sides now. We don't know yet what is going to happen next. So they report that the blue water we saw is actually mixed with some kind of chemical. That's why the water is blue, but it's not confirmed yet what kind of chemical it is. So it, from what we see, it looks like the entire Red Hot Police personnel are reforming the, a new line. And it looks like uh, this is a new team of police personnel. Because what we've seen earlier are, were border patrol policemen, but this looks like uh, official anti riot police. Now there is another barricade erected by the protesters. It looks like the protesters are regrouping again. They're not giving up easily, they're coming back. And the police front line is getting ready to put back too. I'm not sure what they're holding at the moment. It's the shield. They're shield, they are. Uh, it's a shield holder. Oh, it's a shield, yeah. And 
and this looks like they are real anti-police personnel, unlike the what we seen earlier, who are mostly border patrol policemen. So you suspect this is a crowd control police? Yeah, it looks like they are the exactly. I mean, uh, aside for the job. And what you're seeing right now, the police are lining up once again in case there are there will be another round of violence. Okay. That is a different area, but not so far away from what we saw a little earlier. Our reporters have seen, uh, have reported that uh, many of the protesters are moving back and are heading toward the Chulalongkorn University campus. So we got the report that about the water, high pressure water, the first three times was just water. It's a warning, it's warning shots. But the second round, the one that we saw in blue, is actually mixed with chemical that make you feel, that can irritate your skin. And right now, beside the crowd control police, there is also a set of police officers prepared to apprehend uh, whoever that uh, resist the officers and there are also the emergency vehicles the ambulance also waiting behind a, a speaker truck so most of the protesters are now uh, heading toward the direction of Jularongkorn University we are not sure whether they are heading there to regroup or they are retreating. Okay, I think we might gonna see another round if the protesters set up another barricade, which seems like they are doing that, but it's quite far away from the front line of the officers. So the protest organizers uh, speaking from one of the trucks are telling the protesters to retreat and move toward the direction of Jularongkorn University. I believe there's another confrontation coming in its way. As you can see, the police are lining up. Yes, they're getting ready. And if you just joined us, this is the live coverage of the Bangkok protest. And what you're seeing right here, these are live, live pictures of what is actually happening at Siam Square. And moments ago, we have seen clashes between the police and the protesters and the use of water cannons to disperse the crowds. And it is unsure at the moment if there's going to be another confrontation. The protesters were trying to fight off the water with, uh, with umbrellas. That was the first time they had a little confrontation. Not a little, a confrontation. The second time the protesters were trying to build barricade with the metal fence. 
and a lot of umbrella. They hope they're gonna strengthen the front line, but the police officers able to advance in again. And right now, if it happened again, it's going to be the third round between the officers and the protesters. And right now, the police have announced asking the protesters to to leave the area and go home. So the Patumban intersection still is the scene of confrontation between the protester and the policeman, as you can see from the live feed now. Even though many of the, uh, most of the protesters are moving toward Yulalongkorn University, which is only a few hundred meters away. So right now among the protesters, there are some images that they build the map of what they believe will be a safe place to, to go to, uh, circling around, um, which will be some spot inside Jualongkorn University. So because there are some of them told to just go to Jualongkorn University. So right now, the officers are asking the protesters to disperse and go home immediately. They ask the protesters to go home immediately. In fact, they have been saying that uh, the whole evening. But yes. The warning has, has obviously been ignored because there are no signs that uh, the protesters, at least many of them anyway, are not heeding the warning and looks, look, and looks like they are more determined to, to stay put. And the police said that if anyone violate the law, they will be arrested. That's what they said on the speaker. So it's reportedly, uh, there is a report that there are another, there is another 12 people which is the prominent figures of the protesters group uh, got arrested. Of course, one of the major demands of the protesters is for the Prime Minister to resign, but judging from the, the Prime Minister remarks this morning, she certainly is not going to budge, right? Right. What did he say? So this morning, Prime Minister Prayut chan cha has rejected the claims that he will leave, he will resign from office. There go the third round. High water cannon and the police is advancing the front line. There is a protester you see with umbrella in between two front lines. And to repeat what Prime Minister said this morning, he said that he will not resign from office according to what the protesters have demanded and what the and it seems like the police are moving forward. Yeah. So these are certainly obvious certainly the members of crowd control the police unit. So there are two sets of water trucks, the one with just water and the one that water laced with chemical. Even though many of the protesters have left the area and heading toward uh, Jolangwa University, but there are still pockets of protesters who are staying put and are confronting the, the crowd control police. It, it was uh, circulating among the protesters that there is a safe zone, uh, a grass field in front of the uh, Rama II monument in Jula University, and they can get in through the main gate. 
So there are some people trying to find some safe spot for the protesters that want to just um, try to get away from the scene. Though it's very intense here that the speaker truck of the core leaders of the anti-establishment movement is still at the Batum 1 intersection. But right now the action is here uh, at the Siam Square. And there have been reports that certain protesters are gathering together in front of MBK Center which is an exit to Samyan. So that, that's part of the Batumban intersection. Okay, after more than an hour of confrontation and some scuffles, we still have yet to hear any reports of injuries on the part of the protesters or even on the part of the policemen, even though we have seen pictures of some of the policemen uh, being injured. So the, the crowd control police are moving forward again, this time more aggressively than, than before. I have to say this is the moment that's so different from any other protests that happened in the past. Maybe because of the technology too, because usually we already see when things already happen. Usually we don't see things as it's happening. But right now you are watching live feed from the scene. This is what is happening right now at the protest site. And of course, we have to warn the audience that uh, some of the scenes that you'll be seeing may be disturbing and maybe too graphic. I mean, so this is a, a, a caution from our part. That, but we keep, we will keep uh, showing the, the the picture because we believe that is a very important moment. Is the scene that uh, we think is very significant that we want you to witness with us but again we have to warn you about the potential of the, some of the scenes being too graphic and disturbing so now a lot of protesters heading to Jalalongkorn University but like you can see there's a lot of them still there at, at the pr protest site And you can see right now that the police are moving forward very aggressively compared to pre previously. In front of them are still a large number of protesters holding out at the Batumban intersection right in front of the Marvin Trongli MBK the shopping complex. So they are now facing the barricade set up by the protesters. They're moving very fast this time. So if the blue water is the same kind that was used in Hong Kong protests, suspect that it might be something that called methylene blue or greenish blue. All right, so we can see that uh, in, in front of the police, uh, there are still pockets of protesters. I believe the protesters are coming back. Yeah, but most of them have left the area and heading toward the Samyan area or Chulabungkwan University. But this has seemed to be a more diehard uh, the protester, so still resisting the advance by the crowd control police. So we got the report that there is some order from the police to get to make some arrests already. But it's not happening yet. This is the live feed of the protest site. And you can see that 
the some of the demonstrators are still here, but most of them have moved to Jeollanam-gon University. And the leader or protester said that moving to Jeollanam-gon University is not that they surrender, but it's more like a regroup, and they want everybody to stay safe. I think they're spraying another round of water. This is certainly the scene that we never expected to see happen in one of Bangkok's uh, most important and busiest uh, commercial centers. It's definitely a scene that nobody expects this to happen. So the police are now removing the barricades set up by the protesters and are moving forward aggressively. We, we cannot say for sure how many protesters still remain at the intersection as most of them have already moved away. Look like the police is succeeding in advancing and getting through whatever it is the protester was trying to use as a front line. The leaders of the protesters said that they don't want to have any loss of life. Uh, that's why they asked the protester to go to Jilalongkorn University instead of staying here, staying here. So, no, in fact, the anti-government protests have so far have been the peaceful until tonight. We have seen series of anti-government protests in Bangkok and some other big cities, but not this kind of violent scenes that we are witnessing now. So while the police are doing this, they are still saying on the speaker, telling the protesters to go home. In the meanwhile, advancing on the front line. We see some movement from the police side now. Okay, another stand-up between the protesters and the, the crowd control police. And this has been going on almost uh, an hour now. More than an hour. And still we have not yet received any official reports about injuries or casualties. And let's pray that there are no casualties. Even though we have seen the minor injuries on the part of uh, So we see the police officers wearing a mask now. So it's a sign that something more serious it's going to is happen. going to happen. After a lot of warning, telling protesters to go home, now the police wearing the mask. Of course, I mean, using gas masks is one of the options uh, that uh, in the pocket of the crowd control police. But so far, we haven't seen any evidence that tear gas has been used. But the fact that many of the policemen are wearing gas masks now is a good indication that something serious may is around the corner. There have been unconfirmed reports that the some of the protesters have have moved to Lido, which is formerly a cinema, and some of them have moved to Chulalongkorn University as the police have tried to chase them out. And right now, the police are able to uh, dismantle the barricade in front of the Lido cinema. 
There are still some protesters that wouldn't that wouldn't move to Jalalongkorn University. They're, they're still there to confront with the police. Now the police are advancing. In front of them is a small group of uh, defiant protesters. Some of them still flashing the three finger sign in defiance. And it's reportedly that the last barricade of the protester is around Siam Square Soy 2, which the officer front line is getting pretty close. And they're coming with the water truck just right behind the front line of the protester. So that the police uh, continue to advance toward the protesters. That is the last barricade erected by the protesters at Siam Square area. And seems like the police is about to get through. Not yet, but pretty close. We have some comments from our viewers in Hong Kong who certainly believe that what they are seeing now is a reminder of what has happened to their own, their own territory. And the police are trying to disperse the crowds, spraying water again, and telling people to go home. And the protester tried to fight back with throwing some objects into the officers. They're still advancing though, very quickly, than the first round. So the police are now advancing toward the Patumban intersection where groups of protesters are still holding out. Some of the protesters respond with uh, bottles, some other projectiles. In the meanwhile, Patumban court just issued an arrest warrant for another 12 uh, protesters. Takte being one of them, and Panupong Jat Nok or Myra Yong also one of the people that having uh, arrest warrant out right now. So we're talking about the uh, remaining the key leaders of yes. the protest movement who haven't yet been taken into police custody. The rest of them, at least 23 of them, have already been arrested and are now we then they have been denied bail. Once again, we, uh, we have to warn you of potential graphic pictures because we don't know yet what's going to happen next. So right now, the officer announced asks people that stand on the flyover, the bridge above the road, to move out of the bridge. Yeah. Even the journalists have been told also to leave the, the bridge the overhead bridge. So reportedly, this round will be water with chemical. So there's a lot of faculties in July Longkorn University has announced their area to be safe zone for people to uh, just go stay, just to stay safe from the protest site.
very important from the scenes uh, explaining the, the background of the blue chemical that we have been seeing. It's supposed to stick to whoever I'm in contact with that for a few days. And actually, there is still some protesters at Batum Wan uh, intersection, and um, there's still a lot of them there while the police is advancing in that direction. So today the protesters have umbrella and a raincoat. So um, the, actually the protest leaders already asked the protesters to move out of the area, to stay safe first, because they don't want to have any loss of life. But like you can see, there are some of the protesters that insisted still there to fight off the officer, and the officer front line is still advancing. And they have been constantly announced, asking people to just leave, to disperse and go home. Getting closer and closer to Patum Wan intersection. You see that purple line on the right side of the screen? That is Patum Wan intersection. What the protester is trying to do there? Some concrete block with a pole. They are trying to erect some another barricade. Just to remind you, this is a live feed, live broadcast directly from the protest site where the police officer is in a confrontation with the protesters. Some of the protesters already moved to Jalalongkorn University to stay safe because the, their leader already told them to move out first. But uh, some of them still there. They want to stay there to fight off the police officer. And police officer, they already have uh, two or three uh, confrontation already, water have been sprayed and there's some blue water suspected that laced with chemical have been sprayed to the protesters. So right now, they are still advancing, the, the police officers are still advancing. The Thai PBS reporter said that the guard of the protester already asked everybody to disperse. So this confrontation has been going on for more than an hour now, with most of the protesters dispersing and Many or most of them are heading toward the Jilangkorn University. And our reporters at the scene have reported that uh, officials of the university have opened the gates for some other protesters to, to get in. And police are still urging the protesters to go home. And so far, arrest warrants have been issued for 12 protest leaders, including 
ฟอร์ทัดเทพ and we can still and จัดุพงศ์พานุพงศ์จัดนอก right and the police officers still reiterate repeat themselves asking people to get out of the protest site otherwise they will arrest them it's getting very close to Patum One intersection right now Did the, what you see the purple line the purple light that is Patum One intersection seems like there is another barricade by the protesters What you see now is a group of protesters that refuse to move to Jilalongkorn University. They just still want to be there to confront with the police officer. Um, their leader already told them to stay at a safe place. The protester guards already told them to disperse, but there are still some that there at the Batum One intersection. Police officials have already announced asking people to leave the area, and they will start arresting some of the protest leaders. And there is another police officer enforcement, reinforcement. There's more officers being deployed in the area, while the protester is still trying to fight off. With some umbrella and a raincoat, and then they're moving back the fence now. And right now, the police officer asking everybody to get off skywalk. They're asking everyone to get off Skywalk, and the police officer already arrived, reached the Batum One intersection, where it's originally supposed to be uh, the protest site. So, according to our reporters at the scene, the, the protest leaders have been heard telling protesters to. Leave the scene and go home for their own safety. But that they said they would want to come back again tomorrow. So go home first and come back tomorrow. That's the the words from the protest leaders. But there are some of the protesters who went into went into the campus of Durango University. But most of them went headed toward the Rama Four Road, which is uh, next to. The Jula Hong Kong University, but of course, as we can see on the screen, there are still pockets of protesters who are still resisting the police advance. Okay, now the on the protester side, they've been asking everybody to disperse. I mean, the leader of the protesters asking the protester to disperse. So I'm not sure how many protesters will still be there, but the police officer fire another water cannon um, and keep advancing. And our reporters have confirmed that the court has uh, approved arrest warrants for at least 12 more key protest leaders, include Panupong Jatnok. Who has been the, one of the leading the activists behind the anti-government protests? So this is the Batum One intersection, which seems to have been deserted by the protester now, with the crowd control police uh, continuing to make advance.
So you are watching the live coverage of the anti-government protest at Batumban intersection. And for the past one hour, we have seen how the crowd control police try to break up the protest. And at this very moment, most of the protesters have left the scene and uh, many of them are heading home. But there are still pockets of protesters who are holding out and trying to resist the advance of the crowd control police. And there are some of the protesters have moved to Jilamungkorn University and some are still at the Batumwan intersection as well. And there have also been reports that the police have been went up to the skywalk and just sprayed another round of water. And right now we're back to the live feed of the protest site. And I believe this is still at Sayam. That's right. Yeah. They, they, are, they already reached the Patumban intersection and reportedly there are a number of ambulances waiting at the um, art gallery, the cultural center. But there is no more barricade from the protester right now. Unfortunately, we still have not received any reports of uh, injuries from either, either side. Our uh, reporter said that the officers trying to spray water up to the skywalk. Maybe that's why they asked the people to, they asked people to get off skywalk before. Even though the leaders of the protesters tell everyone to go home, they're not saying yet when it's going to be the next gathering. But we still can see that the, at the site, it still looks pretty hectic. The scene there is still chaotic as, the, as the, some of the protesters are still fighting back the advancing crowd control police, even though the majority of the protesters have left the scene after more than one hour of confrontation with the police personnel. The leader said that they don't want any life to be lost because of this protest. And they said that uh, this personnel is not a surrender. So they're probably going to be more gathering, but they're not saying yet when. But right now, they want everyone to stay safe. Also, the police, before they uh, do any water spray or advancing, they keep uh, telling the protester to go home, to disperse, because they are going to advance, and anyone violate the law will be arrested. Okay. And we so far, we haven't received any reports about the casualties. But if we do receive any, okay. we will report as soon as possible. Okay. We we'll go back to the scene uh, more than thoroughly, but uh, now we would like to go back to the Prime Minister, I mean, whose uh, remarks this morning serve as very good indication as to what the government had in mind about dealing with the protests. Right, and this morning uh, we will give you a well, we'll give you a recap of what the Prime Minister said this morning regarding the protests, and there is also some reports that they might impose a curfew and Prime Minister Prayut Janosha has rejected calls from anti-government protesters for him to resign immediately and to release all, pro all protesters currently being held in detention. And when reporters asked him about the necessity of imposing a curfew, he said that it is one of the measures being considered. He also said that the curfew might be imposed if the situation is getting out of control. However, he felt that it hasn't reached that point yet. But that was what he said this morning. So possibly it might be reconsidered now. The Prime Minister also dismissed speculation of a military coup d'etat as completely groundless. And may I repeat once again, that is what he said this morning. And after this situation, we will have to see what the government will say and how they will determine the situation. And this morning, he also explained 
his decision to declare the state of the emergency, which he claimed that the measure is necessary to cope with an unprecedentedly serious situation, as he insisted that all the coalition parties agree with the move. He also said that the state of emergency will be enforced for just 30 days, adding that it was not meant to hurt any groups of people in particular, pointing out that the only people who have so far been harmed by our officials, claiming that the dramatic measure is intended for the benefit of the majority of the people. So that is what he said this morning. So we'll have to see how the government will respond to this evening's protest and will they step up with any more measures or will they actually impose a curfew? So right now there is an announcement from uh, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science of Jilalongkorn University asking people that if they get sprayed with blue water, which is not identified yet what it is, but they can watch it off at the faculty. So there's a lot of uh, uh, staff, a lot of students at Jilalongkorn University that's there to help protesters that got sprayed with that blue water. And it declared a safe zone for protesters to go there. All right. This, this scene at the Patumban uh, intersection is still chaotic. Yes. I mean, police are still advancing, and some of the protesters are still resisting the, the police, the crowd control police. But at the moment, we, we would like to take a break, and we come back later with the latest from the, the scene.